Because he brought Jesus back to life. Death has been conquered. Jesus is precious to us because he died for my sins and rose again on the third day. Now, let's talk about this resurrection a little bit more. I mean, how do you know it's not a myth or you know some a movie? First of all, it was Roman soldiers, not Jesus' disciples, guarding the tomb. The Roman soldiers had nothing to gain by making up the story that Jesus came back from the dead. Second thing is that women were the first people to the tomb, not men. In the Jewish culture, it's usually men that are the, the people that you uh, are trustworthy. But the Bible tells us that God chose to have the woman to go there first. The Bible writers would have nothing to gain if they just said, oh, the woman went there first. A third reason is that Jesus was, was seen by many people. You know, some of us can have illusions. Or we have hallucination. And so, you know, I thought I saw Jesus. But the Bible tells us that Jesus appeared to 5,000 people at one time. It's impossible to have 5,000 people having the same hallucination. Second thing is that Jesus appeared at many different times. You know, you might fool people one time. Or two times. But not three, four, five, six times. Even my children know that when I'm, I'm tricking them. <laughs> After the second time, they don't trust me. <laughs> so you understand what I mean? That Jesus truly rose from the dead. So we need to make a decision. How precious is Jesus to you? Is it precious because, oh, we can have Christmas gifts? Uh, and I have a day off from work. Or is it precious because of what God did for us? Jesus proves that God keeps his promises. His perfect life proves that he is God in his, all his claims. But his death and resurrection provided us peace with God. My prayer is that tonight that if you do not know Jesus as your Savior, that you would come and talk to one of us afterwards. Listen to the singing. Look at the words. And they will all speak of Jesus and what he should mean to every one of us. Shall we pray? Let's pray.
Our gracious Father, we thank you for the birth of Jesus. Thank you for being a faithful God who keeps his promises. Thank you that you lived a perfect life. And the miracles you perform prove that you are God. But the greatest miracle is that you died and arose again on the third day for us. And your death paid the price so that we can have peace with God. We pray for those who do not know you as a Savior yet. May they be like the wise men who came to seek the baby Jesus. And when they found him, they bowed down to worship him. We pray this is in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Amen.
we almost had everybody came out to sing. And we also enjoyed the noise the children made. <laughs> the joyful noise. Wonderful time to be together as family and also as family of our kingdom of God. And let's continue to celebrate and we will sing joyful, joyful, we are Dorothy.